As a web designer and a web design business owner, or even a freelancer, there seems to be an ongoing problem or battle between web designer and customer when it comes to amends post website launch. So once your website is launched, who is responsible for managing and maintaining it and understanding what the expectation is from a customer's point of view for who is responsible for making small ongoing changes or updates to the website that they have purchased. Now, if you're anything like me, uh, I have a problem with being a people pleaser in the sense that if a customer emails me, I would very easily just say, yep, no problem, I'll take care of it. But the reason why this is bad is that you actually set an expectation, okay? You actually tell the customer that it's okay for them to email you and make updates to their website free of charge. And where the problem arises is when they email you again and again and again. And that's not their fault because they don't know any different. You as a web designer or freelancer, once you build up a bank of customers, you can't just simply service even just the small amends day in and day out. You are simply not going to be able to handle this with multiple clients. So that is why it is a problem for you to say yes to even just the smallest amends when trying to run a web design business. Now I recently made a TikTok around this topic and it got a few comments and it was honestly eye-opening as to customers who believe that ongoing small amends should be fully inclusive or included in the project that they have paid for. Now, the way that I like to compare this is it would be like going to a car garage and buying a car, having that car delivered or built for you to drive, and then you expect that later down the line that you can return to that garage and get modifications or updates to your car free of charge. That's not the way the world works because that car dealership just wouldn't be able to survive if all of their customers come back to them and asked for updates when their car got a little bit older. So the way that we handle this dilemma of customers wanting updates and not wanting to pay for it is that we actually set that expectation early. Okay, we let them know that once the site is launched, they are responsible for the updates. A lot of our websites are built on WordPress. It requires updates to the content management system and it does require updates to plugins. Otherwise, there is risk of things breaking or even risk of security breaches. So that's why it's really important. So we set that expectation early and if they're not happy or not able to provide the resource to update the site and manage it themselves, we can then offer them a maintenance package where we take care of that for them. As long as the customer is aware of this from the beginning or before the site is launched, there tends to be no problem at all. The worst thing that you can find as a web designer is once you've launched a website is for you to receive emails on an ongoing basis from perhaps the same customer or the same few customers that just are unable to maintain them sites themselves and are asking you for help and for you then to do that work for free because that's the expectation that you have set, okay? It will be so incredibly draining and demoralizing to have to continuously do all of that work for free and you're then unable to grow other areas of your business, for example. So if there is an email that comes into our inbox from a previous customer that wants a change to their website that was not a part of the original brief, then we will only do it if they pay for it. Now we can charge them hourly or we can put them on our maintenance package, which is a monthly ongoing payment via a subscription, which gives them our dedicated time each month to run any updates as they please. Kind of like an, an insurance policy, okay? They will have reassurance and peace of mind that the, the website is going to be kept up to date, it's gonna be secure and it's gonna be running smoothly and they don't need to worry about it. And if there is a very small ad hoc amend that they want doing to the site, whether it's amending images, amending copy, changing a button, anything really quite minor, we can take care of that too. This way we're happy because we are not being stressed out by doing free work, we're getting paid for the work that we're doing. And the customer's happy because they have that reassurance and peace of mind that everything is being taken care of. Now I've had a few comments where people suggest that customers will not pay for those amends. And I have to say that is incorrect. And also if there is any customer that doesn't pay for the maintenance to take place that maintenance just doesn't take place we put them on a subscription which automatically gets billed every single month up front and if it doesn't get billed they don't have those amends taken care of okay so it is really from a business standpoint quite safe and secure in the sense that we're not going to end up doing work and that customer shafting us because unfortunately there are some out there so if you are finding yourself in a position where you're stuck because you've perhaps not early on managed your client's expectations they are emailing you regularly for updates to a website that's already gone live and it is outside of the original scope of the project that was agreed you can look to put them onto a maintenance package and it's really quite simple just tell them that you're happy to do this one final piece of work but any ongoing changes from this point will need to be billed at 
X amount, whatever monthly payment you want to charge. They will either say yes or no, but at least they know where they stand with regards to emailing you and asking for updates. Because if you do not push back, they don't know any different and it is not their fault. For anyone that is stuck doing free work for previous customers and just hating their job, Honestly, put them onto a maintenance package, build monthly reoccurring revenue into your business, and honestly, it will give you peace of mind. So if you have found this valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. There are more videos appearing now on the end screen for you to go and check out, and hopefully you will find those valuable, just as you have found this video valuable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.